Okay, so I was emailed a link to a video this morning that disturbed the snot out of me. And me. And I gotta tell you, folks, I fully expect many of you to be very nasty in the comments because of what <laughs> I'm getting ready to say. Excuse me. Not excuse me. Excuse me, coughed. No, 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 I meant like what I was gonna say. I, I expect you, some of you, to push back and, and I'm, I'm really heartbroken at why. Yep. The thing is this, ever since COVID happened, there's been this new industry of people that all they do online is they make money off scaring the crap out of you. Yep. They will say, oh my gosh, COVID's this and the government's doing that and FEMA and this and that. And sometimes they'll glom onto things that are actually real. Right. But they always make this crazy, insidious, overbearing, scary thing. And then when that doesn't happen, they move on and bring you something new and scary. But you have to hurry up and buy this thing or buy that thing. And if you don't, you're not going to be prepared. And they keep you in this perpetual zone of being frightened. And I'm here to tell you that's a bunch of crap garbage please cut it off yeah. don't listen to this no. because have you ever wondered how many times they're actually right have you gone back and looked like is their percentage like five percent right but they keep scaring you they keep all these things that are just making people get disturbed and alarmed and they're it's it's physically harming people because fear yes. is stress. Stress yes. is scientifically proven mm -hmm. not a good thing to stay in a space of no. stress. No. And so a friend shared a link to a video and I just had enough. It was, they were honestly concerned because of whatever the content of this video was. And this video had like a bunch of FEMA trucks and, and I guess they're coming to get you again, even though these people are wrong time and time and time again. And it reminds me of that book. If you guys are old enough, do you remember a book called 88 Reasons in 88? Do you? I never read it, but I remember the book. There was a book, Google it, called 88 Reasons in 88. And the whole premise of the book was that Jesus was gonna come back, the rapture was gonna happen in 1988, and there was 88 reasons why it was for sure gonna happen. The guy made millions of dollars. And then, it, and then? I think it's a little bit past 88. And? It, Jesus didn't come back. It didn't happen. No. But, the, the craziest part of this is that he wrote a sequel and still made more money off that, a lot more money off that. And it makes me think that there is inside people an actual desire to be afraid. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, please, shut it off. Yeah. It's not good for you. Nope. From the perspective of a Christian, there's no reason for it. The God who made the heavens and the earth has you eternally, and there's no reason to live in fear. Jesus does not allow people to just sit in that that horrible, stressful sauce, that poison time and time and time again. A perfect love casts out fear. We're not given to a spirit of fear, but of power and that comes from the Holy Spirit not because I said so but because God said so ladies and gentlemen let me tell you what shut it off please if you haven't noticed they move from one chaotic catastrophe right to the next and it never ever stops because when it stops they stop making money oh I've seen channels that have well over a million subscribers and all they do is move from one catastrophe to the next. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this real quick. 
before we get going. Let's just say that the government had this crazy insidious plan to finally let you know that alien life forms are out there, which by the way, I've seen a ton of that in the news. Like all of a sudden aliens, 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 aliens. You know why? Because the, the election's over. They need a new scare for you. They need something new to scare the snot out of you with. So, well, uh, I don't know, the election, well, how about aliens? So let's just say that aliens are real and, and they're not demonic beings, which I think they're demonic beings, okay? But let's just say that they're real. What are you going to do about it? Is it going to be like War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise and, and, you, and you just hide under the ground and then you wait them out and then whoever is the the point zero zero four percent of humans that's who repopulates and that's that's life and it's going to be you because you were prepared with that flashlight that the guy on youtube said you had to have or that widget gadget or gadget that's going to save you and your family please put your faith and trust in god and stop listening to this garbage yeah. it's crazy i i don't know what to tell you folks it's not good for you. Take a breath. Shut it off. I'm saying this in love. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great day. Bless his holy, bless his holy 